Uh, good morning. Uh, I thought I'd take a second to just update the contents of my shack, my antennas, and um, yeah, I made a lot of changes. I've really downscaled, downsized what I have for, for radio equipment. So, sorry, I keep looking at the computer because it's doing something crazy. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I've got going on here. Yeah, I'm going to check into this now because it's getting started right now, but we run a Saturday morning net on um, uh, 11 o'clock on Saturday mornings here. Anyways, uh, I use a TM uh, D710G for my UHF VHF work in the house here. It's a great radio. If you're not familiar with it, you, know, you should check it out. It's, it's unbelievable. It does APRS. It's got a built-in TNC. Everything in it is just really good. Uh, my HF station is my KX3. And I do have the PX3 pan adapter and the KP, KXPA100 amplifier. So that's a 100 watt home station. And this is the only HF radio that I own anymore. So when I do go, uh, when I go portable, I take the KX3. Sometimes I take the PX3 pan adapter and the amplifier. It depends on what I'm doing. So uh, this is the contents of my shack. I, I have a signal link that I use for digital work through um, through the computer. Yeah, good morning everybody on YouTube. As you can see, I've got a pretty decent sized backyard here. It's not huge, big enough for antennas though. So I had to do a quick run around. I just finished up the project, so I'm a little out of breath here, but I want to get this video in. So I'm going to show you what I got going for antennas here at the QTH. I just finished installing one, which is kind of why I'm doing this video. If you're not familiar with Callum's antennas, this is the DX Commander. It's not the classic, it's the step up with the 80 meter. I can't remember what he calls it, but basically the same antenna as the classic. Uh, you can see all my radials going all the way around the base of the antenna. And there's the feed line. And then it is a 30 foot telescopic fiberglass pole with elements four. You know, it's probably easier just to show you the bands because I have them written on here. You got your 10, 17, 40, 12, 20, and 80 elements, meter elements. And uh, the, the 80 actually goes up to the top of the pole. And then I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but then it goes off in an inverted L over this way to that tree over there. And uh, it's actually pretty, um, uh, pretty straight shot. So this antenna uh, did some testing on it. I'm going to post some more results, but I've done a lot of testing on it, and um, so far so good on Whisper. Anyway, so that's that one. I have this. Uh, <laughs> I have this side of the antenna not only supported there but i also have a, a separate support going up to where the 80 meter leg runs off to the tree pulling it this direction to help keep the antenna up straight i thought it was a pretty good addition i don't know if i could do a 40 meter inverted l instead of coming back down the tip the way callum does i'm not sure how that would affect it and then over here my very ghetto setup i've got a bungee cord with a lot of stretch in it attached to you can see there's two ropes they go up to the top tippy top of that very top of that tree and then one of those ropes is attached to my 40 meter off center fed dipole which you may be able to see running across the yard up to the very top of that tree and that uh that's an 80 meter or that's a 40 meter off center fed carolina windham antenna made by Radio Works, who's now out of business, but that, I mean, that antenna is fantastic. And then the other one comes from the tree to, as, in a sloper configuration down and mounts to the side of the house over there. That's that I use, used to use mostly for just 80 meters and uh, it'll tune on 160, but you know, it's not really a 160 antenna. So that's the, uh, that's the antenna set up here at the, at the house. And you know, I've got a lot of, mobile or portable antennas that I use as well. 
Uh, next step, I guess, is to figure out what I want to do with all these ground radials. If I'm going to tack them into the ground and let the grass grow over them. There's too many to actually bury, I think. But I want to be able to mow the lawn when it starts to grow in the spring again. So, Anyways, that's my antenna setup.